Hello, this is Timothy Turner from Native Plymouth Tours, and I just wanted to shoot a small video uh, today to introduce you to the tours and uh, some guest blogging that I'd like to be doing on our blog uh, coming up here. So our tours start May 3rd and 4th, 2013 of this year at 5.30, and we do tours every weekend or every Friday and Saturday night throughout the season till the end of uh, November. If you have a group four or more and like to book during the week, feel free to call us and ask us if we are able to, to take you out on a tour. Um, what I'd like to do is introduce you to a friend of mine who's going to be doing some guest blogging for us. And if any of you out there, any of you Native people who are interested in doing some blogs or blogging would like to be um, included uh, with Native Plymouth Tours and doing some guest blogging, we'd love to have you. Uh, if you have a specialty that you're in, you know, things that you're interested in, feel free to contact us at nativeplymouthtours at gmail.com and we'd love to, you know, come over and do a video and, and put you up on our blog. So um, without uh, any more delay, I'm going to introduce you to Dan Shears. Hi Dan, how are you? I'm alright Tim, how are you? Good. Um, what I'd like to do is uh, maybe introduce you to folks, so maybe if you can tell them a little bit about yourself. Okay. Uh, my name is Dan Shears, um, from the Mohawk Nation. Um, the community I'm most affiliated with is Garanjohlege, which is about an hour from Schenectady in Fonda, New York. Um, I'm very happily married, uh, I have two small children, and um, the most thing that I'm interested in is uh, 17th century material culture and uh, one of my favorite things to do is brain tanning and the next video that we'll be showing you is um, going to be skinning a pine martin to make it to a pipe bag later on. And Dan, how long have you been interested in your culture and um, doing traditional uh, tanning and things like that? Well. Um, Probably by my junior year in high school is when I started to uh, get interested into the culture. Um, and ever since then, I've pretty much dedicated the rest of my life to learning as much as I can and passing that on to my children. <clears throat> and what, you said tanning is probably one of your favorite things. What, what's another one of your specialties that you, uh, you do? Well, um, I also, uh, along at my community, um, I help out as much as possible. Uh, most often, the area that I help in is uh, um, being an extra dancer for our social dances that we do uh, for the Strawberry Festival at the end of June. Yeah, and, and you've made a basket or a few, <laughs> a few <laughs> baskets, in the, a few baskets in the past. Yeah, actually, I gave you a basket not that long ago, uh, made out of birch bark. Um, that is something that I learned how to do um, over the past couple of years. Um, I go out and harvest my own bark and harvest spruce roots, which is what I sew the baskets with. And then sometimes I will uh, etch a design on the uh, side of the basket. Okay, and like you said, the next video that we'll be showing will be a, a video of you doing a Pine Martin. And um, what we plan to do with the blog this year is not just talk about the tour um, and talk about the great things that are in Plymouth and there's tons of things for us to do in Plymouth and and to walk around and to see but trying to uh, expand the blog into you know some more information and so that's why we'll be doing the the Pine Martin and hopefully we'll do some other videos you know historic places as we come up and uh, hopefully more people will be interested in doing some guest blogging uh, so if you're a native person and you're interested in some guests doing some guest blogging uh, feel free to contact me on my website or on my uh, my email, which is nativeplymouthtours at gmail.com. Thanks, Dan. Thank you very much, Tim. I appreciate it.